Western New York living. It's not uncommon for folks to get together around the holidays, enjoy time with family and friends. But if you realized over that gathering that maybe you weren't hearing as clearly as you used to, or maybe it just, I don't know, the TV's too loud or it's just hard to make out the words, maybe it's time to prioritize your hearing. Happy to have with us in the studio today, Dr. Jill Burstein from the Hearing Evaluation Centers of Buffalo. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's said married couples probably spend 90% of the time yelling what from the other room and it might be that they're just not hearing each other. When's it time to seek professional help to prioritize hearing? How do we know it's time? Well, the first thing is hearing should actually be screened routinely, just like we get our vision screened. We have our teeth cleaned regularly. So at age 55, we recommend at least having your hearing screened. And then after that, the signs that you would know to get more help would be it sounds like people mumble. That's the biggest sign of early onset hearing loss. People are mumbling, um, trouble hearing, just maybe if there's noise going on around you. Um, certainly trouble if somebody's not looking at you when they're speaking, if they've got their back turned. All of those are usually signs of, of a change in your hearing. Is it something that happens gradually, I'm assuming? Very gradually. Yeah. So gradually that it's hard to detect that it's happening. Usually you say, oh, I'm okay, so-and-so mumbles, and then, at a certain point when you realize everybody sounds like they're mumbling, you start to realize maybe it's not them and maybe it's me. And that's why screening is so important because it's important that we address it as early as possible. Doctor, I know that there are some hearing devices available at the stores. What's the difference between those and what's the advantage of going to a professional like yourself? So uh, in 2022, you could get over-the-counter hearing aids now that are FDA approved. That is a very do-it-yourself model for the early stages of hearing loss. You have to do a test on your phone, connect them to your phone. Um, some can be customized for programming. Some you just have to pick from options. Mm -hmm. When you see an audiologist, we do a more thorough evaluation and a very customized programming for you where we verify all of the settings and then of course teach you everything you need to know. Yeah, and of course experience matters. Yeah. Um, at around the age 50, that's when people should get a baseline hearing test. Is that a starting point or what, what explain the baseline hearing test? Yeah, so coming in, we recommend coming in even for just what we call a screening. So that's to see pass fail. Can you hear sounds at a certain level or not? If you don't pass it, then we would recommend a more comprehensive evaluation where we can look at more detail. Um, of your hearing and then of course go over the results and every person's an individual so we make recommendations based on your individual circumstances. What are some circumstances or things that can cause hearing loss or, or make it get you know worse over time? Some of those things people should watch for day to day. Um, generally it's your genetics. You know most people are genetically predisposed so if you have a family history of hearing loss certainly your work history if you've been in the military noise exposures um, certain medications, um, some popular ones now that we do a lot of testing for are Tempeza um, and some chemotherapeutic medications. So if you're doing any of those things or you've been exposed to any of that, then you might be on a more routine testing uh, pattern. There's a lot that goes into it and I'm glad that you're around to help people with hearing loss. Uh, if you notice changes in your hearing or need a baseline hearing test, Hearing Evaluation Services at Buffalo can definitely help. They've got four offices around Western New York. You can find them in Amherst, Williamsville, Orchard Park, and Tonawanda. To find out more about all the hearing and medical services they offer, head to their website at hesabuffalo.org or give them a call at the number you see on your screen. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks so much. All right, now coming up next, Ivy League construction.